Hello everyone, welcome to CFC Fan TV. Charlie here. I just thought I'd check in with you. Some huge Chelsea news today. Um, Thibaut Courtois has not turned up for training. We all know he wants to force a move to Real Madrid. Um, but what a way to go about it. Look, I've never been a huge fan of him. To be honest, I've never really rated him as a keeper as high as a lot of people. But he's, he's clearly played very well for Chelsea at times. But I, I think he's also had some quite poor performances. Um, but more to the point, what a disgusting way to go about um, your professionalism and the respect he's shown for the club in this manner. I, I feel disgusting. I mean, this is, this is a player that we sold Petr Cech for. This is a player that, that we kind of put a lot of stock in. Has he repaid that faith totally? I don't think so. And I think this last six months, it's been so clear that he's been off. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure this last 12 months, we've always had these kind of rumours. But, you know, this is a real... This is a real blow, and I think, personally, I'd love us to sign another keeper and keep Courtois and have him rot in the reserves. I think that kind of that's what he deserves. But we all know where his heart lies, so I think the priority is now to, to get another keeper in. The names we've been hearing is Jack Butland. Um, Kasper Schmeichel would be my kind of choice for the short term. I think, uh, I think that would be about £35 million, which is about what we get for Courtois. Obviously, you know, we've been left in a difficult position because, say we were to take... Kasper Schmeichel, you, you, you're, leaving, you're leaving Leicester with three days to find a new keeper. Um, and, you know, that doesn't come, that doesn't come easy. I, I just, I'm just left flabbergasted by, by, this, by this player's kind of lack of professionalism, really. And it's, it's certainly not the sort of thing he's going to get away with at Real Madrid, to be honest. But um, the other thing I, th I think we should touch on, it's, it's such poor planning by the club. It really is. You know, we, we all know the club have been pretty slapdash over the past 12 months. They didn't really know what they were doing with Conte. Sarri, I don't believe, has had time to, to do what he wants in, um, in pre-season. He hasn't had time to implement his, his strategy. I was at Wembley on Sunday and it was so dire. It really was. I, I'm, I'm shocked, to be honest, that um, Man City didn't win by a lot more. I thought every single area of the team could be really be improved. Um, that's you know the centre halves I thought looked lost at sea. I don't think the full backs are particularly suited to playing in a back four. Um, midfield I thought was awful. I thought Jorginho was quite disappointing. I thought he gave the ball away quite a lot, but it doesn't help. You know when when you're next to Fabregas who's not doing anything. I don't think Ross Barkley had a good game. And I mean the less said about Alvaro and Morata the better. I think you know where are the goals going to come from in this team? That's that's what I really do struggle with. Um, I really, I really can't, I really can't see any goals. Um, I know a lot of people are saying on Twitter, Mitchy Batshu, why? But have we seen that on a consistent basis? I, I appreciate he's come up with some crucial goals before. I'm a big Olivier Giroud fan, but I'm not sure that um, it's going to work with this kind of system. He's more of a kind of hold the ball up sort of player. Um, so yeah, I do worry for the future. The other game that I'm going to, I'm going to Leon at Stamford Bridge um, tomorrow night. So I'll. Uh, I'll update you all from that, but um, I want to know what you guys think of uh, Thibaut Courtois and, more importantly, who we're going to get in. Um, I've, I, I'd, I mean, the dream for me is Jan Oblak from um, Atletico Madrid in a kind of swap deal because, you know, there's only, there are two clubs in Madrid and if he's that desperate to, to, see his, to be with his kids, then he shouldn't really mind what, what Madrid club he goes to. Um, whether we get Oblak for sort of a Courtois plus a hell of a lot of cash... I'm I'm not too sure. I'm not I'm not sure why why they would do that, but it is an interesting option. Um but look, given Sunday's performance, obviously the result itself doesn't matter, but the manner in which it was played out was just awful and you know, it's it's I'll be up at Huddersfield and I'm kinda of not really looking forward to it very much. Apart from the curry house at Huddersfield, they do a very good curry. Um but you know, we have got a hell of a lot of problems to sort out. That starts with trying to get some players in before Thursday's deadline at 5pm. I'll be honest, I'm not too confident, but we'll see. Anyway, let me know what you think of Thibaut Courtois. Thanks for watching. Click the subscribe button. And more importantly, let me know who you want to get in. Cheers.